The Kang family finally back together after a complicated journey. We'll share their story straight ahead. So our top story this morning, a uh, complicated journey for one Sudanese family, and it has a happy ending, but also a great beginning mm -hmm. for this family. They were reunited last night right here in Salt Lake City. Yes, uh, this reunion had been years in the making. Finally, this lovely family is back together. Around 11 o'clock last night, Emmanuel, two years old, was reunited with his mom after being stuck waiting for his passport in Kenya since April. Emmanuel would have uh, had his passport long ago, but roadblocks after roadblock uh, with the immigration process held the reunion up. His father is a five-year U.S. citizen, left his job last month to fly out to Kenya, where Emmanuel was staying to manage the whole process. Now, with the help of Senator Orrin Hatch's office and a charity called Bridges to America, Emmanuel finally got his passport and is back home. Yeah, apparently his father spent more than $30,000 of his own money to wow. get his son and wife here to the United States. His son was staying with someone back in Kenya, and, but apparently the U.S. Embassy had put up some roadblocks and he wasn't able to be here with his parents. And his father had given up everything to travel to Kenya to get his son back here to Salt Lake City. Now, Bridges to America did purchase a one-way flight for the father and son to fly back to Utah to be reunited. And of course, um, the family together, Nicole Val will be speaking with them coming up in our next hour, but such a great story. But it also, a poignant one because it, 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 it's an example of the complicated immigration process here in the United States. Really tough to deal with sometimes. There is a lot of red tape, but uh, thankful they are back home here in Utah today. Absolutely. Two-year-old separated from his family for almost six months. This morning, he is now with his family right here in Utah. This an amazingly touching story, folks. This happened while you were sleeping last night. KSO was there for the emotional reunion. We send things to new specialist Nicole Val this morning with the family and joins us live with their story. Good morning, Nicole. You guys, t after 20 hours on a plane yesterday, finally around 11 o'clock last night, this family, after all years in the making, is back together. Shiro, Amelia, a little Emmanuel here, and we even have Marianne It's a cousin of the family. He was a big part of the process getting them home. Guys, such a crazy journey you guys have had over the last couple years. Tell me, tell me just a little bit about it. Actually, it had not been his like when I planned you know, going home back and getting married. So I had my cousin, so he stood, you know, beside me and said, Ciro, you have to do, you have to go home, and I'll take care of everything. So I went home and I got married. In the process, you know, he had to help me out because in our system, like uh, African culture, you have, when you are getting married, you have to pay some dowries. Yes. So my cousin Marajan was here he was paying the rent for by himself he was even supporting me you know to yeah because you because you quit your job to go back to get your son yes. and your wife yes and now uh, again i had to quit my job and i had to go you know to go and get my sons here of course when i got this from you know my work that you are the only thing that you have to do you have to quit your job but why did it happen because I had to get a one-way ticket, and that was a support from uh, Adam Miles from uh, Bridge of, Bless you. you know, <laughs> yeah. Bridge to America organizations. Yeah. Actually, he got me one-way ticket to get to Nairobi, and then so when I went to the office, you know, at my work office, that I need to go to to Kenya and attend the interview for my son. That's going to be uh, August the 19th. Yeah, a long, long drawn out process with yes. with the immigration process. But you, but you finally have your family back together. Real quick, how does that feel? We actually feel so good. We feel so great. I never knew that this family, you know, would come together this year. But you know, together with the help of uh, um, Adam Miles. And together with Chance, who is working in Orient Archie's office, yes, we made it together, yeah. and we did it. 
Wow, such an amazing, amazing reunion story. Senator Orrin Hatch's office, a charitable organization, Bridges to America, also helping get this family back together. And you guys, Amelia is actually expecting another little Emmanuel coming up sometime next year. So this family is even getting bigger now. So, but they're all together, and it's such a great, great story that they're back together again, finally. Back to you guys. Our congratulations to them. Thanks, Nicole, for that nice story.